Hello there, it's me PJ Holden. Uh, I'm currently working on a page of Number Cruncher and uh, Number Cruncher is um, a series that most of the pages, were, well, in fact all of the pages were done traditionally. Uh, with this though, uh, on some of the new pages I've sort of changed my technique quite a fair bit and now I'm working pretty much primarily all digital. Uh, I'm using Manga Studio version 5 to do these pages. Um, this page, is, you'll see, is all um, all digital. The grey wash that you can see in here is actually a sort of uh, uh, a brush within Manga Studio. I'll, I'll tell you how I've achieved what I'm, what I'm doing. And it, uh, I, th I think it pretty much simulates what I've been doing traditionally. Um, so uh, what I have here, here's, here's the brushes that I normally use. Um, I use in the watercolor brush uh, a, a brush tool called the Darker Bleed. I'm focusing on that a bit better. Um, I've kind of upped the size of the particles, so they're quite large. But you can see that looks like a sort of fairly decent, respectable uh, kind of wash effect. Uh, one thing I don't like about it is the edges are a bit sort of. The I mean they're very random looking, which is nice in one way, but it's also it, it doesn't give me the full control I want. So one of the things that I've done to work this is I've got this is my grey wash layer, and you see it's made up of a actual page of grey wash as well as a mask over it and what I'm doing is I'm painting on both the mask and the grey wash to give me a sort of combination of, of of effects give me far more control over it so for example I've already sort of in the grey wash layer itself what I've done is I've, I've painted using um, the splatter spray brush here I sort of give it a grey fill and then use the splatter spray, the spray to give me something like a little bit of randomness and then what I do is I go into the actual the actual layer here, um, into the layer mask. And I can then sort of take away some of the mask. So what I'll do is here is I'll take away a little bit there. And you can see that that sort of that gives me something that gives me something a little kind of grey. It's not perfect yet. Um, what I can do though is I can actually go back into the 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 actual layer of the grey wash. So remember what I've done here is I've, I've showed some of the mask, basically I've masked, it's shown some of the underlying grey and now I'm going to using the using the grey darker bleed and making that slightly darker colour I can now and you see because of the grey wash it gives you a sort of very nice pretty effective random colouring and this is about sort of one to one, this is what I'd normally work at uh, on the traditional comic page when I'm drawing it, and you see when zoomed out for print that that looks um, not unlike a proper, not like a real thing really. Anyway, that's that's what I've been doing in Manga Studio Five. And you can find more stuff about that and what I do generally on my blog at www.pauljholden.com or on my Twitter feed at twitter.com forward slash Cheers, bye.